don't lie. The truth about being a full stack web developer. This is gonna be a good one. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I wanna to talk about another video that I created a few months back. And it was about can you become a full stack web developer in one year and i explained what a full stack web developer actually is and some of the coding languages that a full stacker knows the video was about 10 minutes long and i gave some tips and suggestions and a study schedule that you could follow if you want to become a full stack developer that video has almost 9,000 views at this point has over 300 thumbs up has a couple of thumbs down and has a good amount of comments and the vast majority of them are very positive but there's always going to be one comment or sometimes more than that and this morning i opened up my email i got a notification and it said don't lie Ooh, so you know i had to go back to check out that comment on my computer and i want to thank the person that left the comment and i gave them a thumbs up and i actually hearted the comment because in the comment they said that the information i gave is really good but they said also that and i'm paraphrasing here that one year is not enough time to become a full stack developer. So of course I commented back and I said, you know, I gave you a thumbs up and I hearted your comment and this is why, because part of what you said is true. And that's if you're thinking about, can you become a master full stack developer in one year? And in that video, I'm very clear that you cannot become a master coder or a full stack web developer who is highly advanced in one year's time frame unless of course you have one of those beautiful minds of course but you can learn the syntax of all the coding languages you can learn the fundamentals and you can get the ability of creating websites within one year you can learn html css javascript php python and mysql and again the fundamentals of those languages and you can have your website live within that time frame now will it be the most amazing website in the entire world probably not will it be the most advanced of course not but but it will be live and over time you'll develop more skills you'll learn how to advance your knowledge in terms of the various coding languages and you'll get better as a coder in general and then you'll start thinking like a coder because it's one thing to know the syntax of a coding language it's another to be able to solve problems or create robust solutions with the coding languages that you know it's like a person knowing how to speak and write just because you know how to talk doesn't mean you can be a great orator and just because you know how to write doesn't mean you're going to be a best-selling author both of those things take time, practice, and some natural talent, but most of it can be learned. But now this leads me into another topic, another part of the conversation. Do you believe in yourself? Self-doubt is one of the things that's going to limit you more so than anything else. As long as you have the capacity to learn, as long as you have the desire to learn, as long as you can be disciplined and set aside a couple of hours every single day, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year, you can learn and you can accomplish your goal of being a full stack developer. But now if you have the mindset that you're not able to do it, that you're not worthy, if you feel like an imposter, if you have that imposter syndrome, that's going to hold you back and that's going to prevent you from being able to attain your goals of becoming a full stack. And that's true within any field. You might look around at others and say, you know what, I'm not as smart as them or I haven't been doing this as long as they have I don't have a computer science degree why or not do I believe that I could be a full stack developer in just one year that self-doubt will hold you back now some people will say that overconfidence is also gonna be one of the other limiting factors because you're gonna jump in there full throttle you're gonna believe that you could do something that maybe at first is gonna be very difficult and once you start hitting those obstacles once you start hitting those problems that seem impossible to solve you're gonna get discouraged and then the self-doubt will creep in so it's also not good to be overconfident but I'd rather a person be confident put in the hours that they need in order to study and practice what they're learning dedicate a couple of hours every single day hit those stumbling blocks and be able to push through it rather than starting off with self-doubt because let me ask you a question why on earth would you get started doing something if you don't believe that you could do it? You'll find every excuse under the sun just to push it off to another day. And procrastination is a big issue. So don't let self-doubt hold you back. Put in the time, put in the effort, realize you're gonna have to spend a significant amount of time 
learning how to code. But as long as you have the right study habits, as long as you're putting in the time on a daily basis, and as long as you're using good resources, you'll get there. So believe in yourself, don't have self-doubt, and in time you'll become a full stack web developer. And if you're looking to be a freelancer, then you're gonna have to learn all the different coding languages because when you're creating a website for a client, most clients don't understand the difference between a front-end designer, a back-end developer, a system administrator. All they want is a website. So it's gonna be very important that you learn how to deal with every single aspect of a site. Now, will you be a master at every single one? Probably not. You might specialize in front-end design and development, or you might specialize in back-end development. But it's important that you understand and know how to deal with both ends of a website. And when in doubt, you can just Google it. Or you can go to Stack Overflow. And I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find an answer to a question you might have. All right, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that notification icon, and leave your comments down below. Positive comments are always welcome, but I don't mind constructive criticism. It helps me to better create these videos. So share your thoughts, share your opinion, and make sure you believe in yourself. All right, so I'll catch you next time. Take care.